Hello folks, thanks for tuning in again, another episode and in this episode I'm going to talk about Microsoft Office 365 Admin Center. So this is specifically more for somebody uh, who are looking for their career in IT. Uh, there are different roles. You can go all the way up to architect level and you can be an engineer and also if you're someone new wanted to start so you need to familiarize with uh, office 365 admin center uh, because there are so many administrative roles available as you can see on the screen and depending on the size of the organization you could be just one dedicated person doing one uh, type of role so for that reason you need to understand what this Microsoft admin is and believe me this is the most powerful access you would ever get in any Microsoft tenant so make sure you protect this uh, account make sure you know what you're doing it don't play around and make sure you thoroughly study and understand uh, whatever the changes you're gonna implement because that really can ruin your job you may get fired you know you gotta be very careful um on the other side if you are working in it then of course your particular role is have a rule based access our back model so you may not even be able to see any of these so let me show you a little bit and try to cover as much as possible right um there are different roles resources billing support settings so what i'm going to do uh admin center this is what i wanted to show you here right and uh, there can be separate uh, video on different roles are back but here in the admin center so you have a separate role or separate admin for security uh, which didn't exist even three four years ago when i started 10 years ago in 365 none of these exist you know there was just one global admin but based on the feedback from large enterprises, now Microsoft team and product team has made a lot of improvement. And that's the beauty of cloud model. There's a constant change on the feedback and they bring those best possible feature capabilities into the service. And that's why I love cloud, regardless of what type of cloud platform, SaaS, PaaS, and IS. But here we are talking about SaaS and I do not have any access to any underlying infrastructure, hardware, anything. Everything is being offered to me as a service. So that's the beauty of cloud. So security is usually, you don't wanna give them security access to the server, right? So they just need to be monitoring the security area. So this is where security role is all about. Then we have a compliance. Again, compliance is a different, you have to be compliant. So compliant team, if you have a separate team, do not or may not need to have access to the security because security is different and compliance is totally different. Then you have endpoint manager, uh, which is again, how do you protect your endpoint devices? It's a more of a systems and IT role where you're managing your devices, it can be MacBook, can be Windows and iPhones and Androids and all that stuff. And there is an Active Directory. If I click on this, it will take me to Active Directory portal. What it means then I can manage <laughs> the account from there and even more stuff. Uh, which uh, I will be allowed to set up and configure through Active Directory portal. Now I'll come to Exchange SharePoint Teams, right? So Exchange is email, anything email, anything Outlook is all Exchange server. There used to be Exchange server. Now I don't count me on the, but I would say it's plus person companies or stuff has been moved to the cloud in Office 365. And this is what when you access your mailbox is your Exchange server. So companies who are still on exchange, they are migrating it, but pretty much you get 100 gigs of mailbox, archive mailbox, shared mailbox, you name it, all these type of mailbox, your room mailbox, resource mailbox, your calendaring, you know, all this stuff is based off Microsoft Exchange Server. Same thing when it comes to SharePoint, when again, there used to be SharePoint farm, but not anymore, no clusters, everything is in the cloud. So when you're saving your stuff in your document library, it's all SharePoint. Even OneDrive, when you store file, the underlying architecture is based off SharePoint. 
but it works as your storage like a Dropbox and uh, OneDrive or Google Drive, whichever. So again, SharePoint, people coming from the SharePoint background, they know what I'm talking about. But for example, if you're new to Office 365, yeah, I don't need to going deep, but you have a SharePoint as a service available. Uh, you can do a lot of integration with third party automation and document libraries there. And you can be really very creative with SharePoint. <clears throat> Teams, uh, I'm not going to go more details. Uh, I set up a team session in my previous video. But again, it's a team administration. And this is what I was telling about. You can build up a separate career when you become a team certified. <coughs> and you can manage your governance policies, even the meeting policies, mute policies, whatever your organization needs those policies to be implemented in Microsoft team. This is from where you can do it and you will be just a manager or administrator for your Microsoft Teams. And here we click on that and we go to all see or what are all <coughs> admin centers available and what do they actually do? I already explained you one drive, uh, sorry, the Active Directory compliance. Um, so there's a different admin for everything, right? Yeah, but for Power Automate, Search and Intelligent Stream, OneDrive, Power App Security, Teams. Honestly, uh, most I have seen from IT Point when you're watching this video, the majority of the role are based basically on Active Directory, Compliance, Microsoft Exchange, and you'll find a separate role for Security. SharePoint and Microsoft team. So depending how big your organization is, but these are usually the most role I have not seen as somebody who is dedicated for Yammer. Yeah, there are a few cases, but um, generally speaking, there are four or five roles for exchange, separate administrator. Uh, SharePoint, as I told you before, security and compliance is separate, active directory. So that's in a nutshell usually happens four or five different people manage a tenant but again it can always change but that's the idea and that's what you need to know how these work because then once you assign that admin role then you pretty much have full access to that but not the other service so that's pretty good where you can have uh separate people different teams working within their scope of the job or the work and the responsibility so I hope it makes sense. Uh, if you have any question, let me know. I'll see you in my next video. Thank you and bye.